Welcome back to the channel. Today you join us on a repair job, a steel repair job where we are actually taking over from a previous builder's work. What's happened is that these steels have been installed and in all fairness, they do look really good. There's nothing really wrong with workmanship. It looks fantastic. However, there's a key vital piece of paperwork missing to sign off these steels. So to get you into the loop, the steels were installed. They've been sat on a concrete pad and everything has been poured around. The floor has been finished internally. Everything looked like it was totally boxed off and done. But the building inspector, building control, never came out to inspect the floor and the ground of what these steels were sat on. Because of that, this house, this extension can't be passed off. We did come here a few weeks ago where we had to underpin and undermine the concrete pads these steels are sat on and a couple steels behind me. And what we did find is, yes, they are sat on a 450 mil concrete pad, which is fantastic, but below that pad was really poor ground. After we dug the holes, we did have the structural engineer come out and building control. And then together, they have come up with a drawing to mitigate any problems these steels could have. I'll throw up the drawings on screen right now. It basically requires us to dig the holes ever so slightly bigger than we already have, adjacent to the original steel and the original pad, and then install some rebar and resin, and then mass fill that with concrete. The reason we're doing this, first of all, is to get that little bit of paperwork to make sure that building control is happy, and also to make sure that these steels don't move. One of the reasons we've been called out is that building control structural engineer is worried that if there's any movement off these steels, even though they are sat on 450 mil worth of concrete, the ground below is just not good enough. So we're gonna have to sort this out. Lots of figuring things out, but we're gonna get stuck in right now, start the steel saw and start digging some holes. They are really good, aren't they? Yeah. Really good use of not only the tool itself, legs. but your legs. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like you keep squatting down to go to the toilet. <laughs> Here we've got an original house footing there. And we actually have the original house footing in this hole there as well. So we'll end up probably drilling into that as well with and uh, putting in the rebar. Jake's just using these absolutely marvellous tools, the, the post diggers. Oh, they're fantastic, mate. It's fantastic. It, jobs are easy when you use the correct tools, eh? Yeah, oh, that's it, mate. Really good. So we're gonna continue digging. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna continue digging these holes and then when it gets a little bit lighter, we're gonna go in there and start digging that one. But for now it's going absolutely splendid. Would you say boys? Yeah, it's marvellous. Oh, good. It's really good. Pickers or fence diggers, what do you call them? Post diggers, sorry. So choose from, was it just that? No, it was just these. It was just these. Yeah. Well, good yeah. Hair, they're not bad. Yeah. I've used wooden ones. I've used wooden ones, and they're so heavy. Yeah. Oh, 
when I was a labourer, I spent about probably two months straight on these, yeah. <laughs> digging posts for a, like three sites. <laughs> yeah, and the annoying thing is, because I was good at it, no one else did it, because I was just... <laughs> It's only probably being mint to everything. You gotta do everything, aren't you? You got tape on you. What's that? Tape, tape down from finished floor to that. About six, seven, six, seventy or so. Six, seventy. Oh, yeah. So I'll take it down further just because. We've pretty much dug out all of the holes inside the house. The lads are just working on the third, uh, the fourth one now. We've had a delivery of all of our materials. So that's ballast, one ton off, uh, six bags of cement, and then our rebar has just turned up as well, which is this 12 mil rebar. Now the drawings require 400 mil lengths, two off, uh, going into the existing 450 mil concrete pack that was previously poured by the other builder. So I'm gonna get all of these cut now, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut four extra for the simple reason, it's gonna be really quick in foundation here. Yep. So I'm gonna have one there, one there, but I'm also going to put one there and one there. The same on this one here, this hole here. So it's just extra support, not required in the drawing, but there's nothing more, there's nothing wrong with throwing more of these in to help hold this whole structure together. So that's what I'm on with. The lads are doing a marvellous job. Let's go see. Let's go see. It's very dark. Like mold people digging the way. Oh look at it. It's it's splendid. The last hole and then it's just gonna be a case of digging and drilling and resining and then concreting. sound so holes are all now dug we're working on getting the rebar in we've had our resin turn up I'll grab this uh, there we go so we've got our resin which was specified on the drawing this exact one brand new resin gun so what i've done oh let me just pull this out oh. nice uh, i've just marked on where we're basically going to be drilling to. I've actually pushed my tape a little bit further back, but that was set at 200 mil. These are 400 mil. So we're just making sure that we drill about halfway, even though I've been drilling a tiny bit deeper, but that's totally fine. Um, so drill these in 200 mil. That's what we're working on right now. Jake's just set the mixer up. He's going to throw a few mixers on. We've got a lot of concrete to be making and getting on with. So get these holes dug, resin everything in. I'll come back to you when we're starting to resin everything. But for now, I'm just going to get stuck in. Also, something that I just thought we should do. <sighs> so we've, we've drilled all the holes um, and we are down to 900 mil. That's touching the bottom. Well, almost a meter there, which is fantastic. The drawing specified going to the same depth as this or to good ground. So we've opted for good ground, which is basically virgin ground that hasn't been touched. We've got that here. And then all I'm doing now, I've put that 100 mil of stone on the bottom of the good ground. And now I'm just compacting it down with our stomper. Otherwise I won't be able to get a whacker plate in there. It's a bit tight for it. Um, so again, we're just compressing the ground, 
everything we do from this point forward is going to be better than what was originally here. All these little things like the drawing and things like that don't say compact the ground, but these are all little extra steps we can do to make sure that this job is perfect and there will never be any problems. Not like there really would have been, <laughs> but uh, yeah, just making sure that we do the best job possible for the client. So we need to continue doing what we're doing now get a load of photos for each individual hole. That's actually me reminding you, Jake, we need to actually get a load of photos. Um, and then we're gonna start concreting and resining everything in. And then, man, we'll, I reckon we'll go be in for an early day because we've absolutely stormed ahead. It's only 20 to 11. Wow. There we go. Oop. There she goes, 900. Nice, that one's 900. That's 900. Yep. Nice. Show the bottom of the tape, they might think it's bent. <laughs> and then, yeah, we take another 100 mil out of there to get everything the same. Right. Resin. Yeah, the 200 mil side, yeah? Yeah. Nice. And then, oh, that's better. Ah. Ah. 215. It's a lot of energy for five mil, isn't it? Yeah, great use of camera. Man, if, I, if my knuckle hits that, I'm going to split an artery. 205, 200, 210. We know we're in 200 mil, that's perfect. So, a little bit hectic, but we got all of the bars resined in to the correct depth, which was 200 mil. These ones, I put extra bars in into the original foot in here, and then they've gone in as well, 200 mil. We've got the exact same situation here, where we've put these two in, 200 mil, and then they've just gone in as well for a little extras. And then finally, we've had these two go in here. We're on really solid ground there, which is perfect. I think it's about 700 mil, this one. They've all been taken down to 900 mil, but, you know, we're a good few meters away from that. So the ground's slightly different here. But yeah, these have gone into 200 mil as well. So that's perfect. Oh, it's really heavy, in she goes. Are we gonna have enough ballast for this? Cause that, it's a very hungry hole. You know all about hungry holes. <laughs> So we've been working for the last hour and a half, throwing a lot of mixes on. Uh, we have got all of the concrete pretty much in the hole besides the last 100 mil. Under this original subfloor, we've got a DPM, which is a damp proof membrane, which stops any rising damp coming up. So because we penetrated through that when we were digging these holes, we are just putting a one meter by one meter square piece of DPM back in the hole and we've got concrete over that. And then once it's gone off, we'll cut around it. Also, there is another DPM going on this and some insulation because we have a central heating system going on top of this subfloor. So there is gonna be another layer of DPM on top of this, but for now, this is something we can do as well to really make sure that there is no extra rising damp occurring. Splendid. Good. Marvellous. 
Fantastic. Grand. <laughs> Great work. Oh, wow. <laughs> that one's quite full in all fairness with you. Of the tamper. You pretty much saw the full process of us rectifying this steelwork today. Like I said at the start, it actually wasn't bad. Like the steelwork was fine, but it was missing that key piece of paperwork. So we've had to come in and sort a few things out. We have finished off all of the pads just by going over it with a nice trowel finish. Um, they will probably have to top flow this just to smooth it out a little bit more so it's ready for the underfloor heating. But like I said, everything is banged on. We've had extra rebar going this hole here and this hole here. And we are just wrapping up the garage right now where we're actually just about to do some stud work. But again, this one is all done as well. So that is pretty much where we're gonna be leaving it for this job or this section of the job. And with all the photos and videos we've taken today and probably this, uh, sent over to the building, uh, building inspector and building control. They will get their bit of paperwork so this job can now continue. So thank you very much for watching this rectify steel job. Appreciate it and we'll catch you next time.